All right, guys, you heard how awful sounding that was when I was running it. And that only took about 10 minutes to start sounding awful after um, running the gearboxes. And these are the new motors that came with the kit. And you could see, look at that wobble. The motors broke down because I was running them under 24 volt in like 10 minutes. This Ching Fang motor was the original in that gator and it's running really good but I figured you know these are these are uh, meant to be run at uh, 12 volts not 24 volts so I'm going to try an RS 550 motor it's right here and as you could see these are rated for 24 volt and they're 3900 rpm and then the, the kit I got has a bunch of gears that you can uh, uh, utilize but um, as you can see this is very much like this design um, so I'm a little skeptic about it lasting but we'll see what it does it, they're, they're saying it's rated at 24 volt um, what I like about this Ching Fang motor is that they have the uh, fins as far back as possible and it's a little longer body and that will uh, allow more cooling more coils and speaking of coils another thing that broke down were the coils I saw coil pieces coming out of this and I think it's because it was rubbing and making a, a horrendous noise um, again the originals are tight and we're still juries out as to how good the, these RS will try them out I'll put a link in the description below um, and go from there I'll get the gear on okay guys I decided to stick with the uh, 10 tooth gear I just got this started so then I could uh, put it in the vise and just press it on to uh, the shaft so basically what I did is just, just took the, the gear and then I looked to see if there was a flat surface or, and a con, convex surface. So usually that would be the leading edge. There's a little bit of uh, concavity to that edge there, and this is flat. So this will be the portion that I'll use to uh, get it started. So just kind of put it on there like this and press down on the wooden surface to just get it started so it'll hold for the vise and then um, when I put it in the vise I'll make sure to not uh, bend over these tabs and that the back end of the vise is touching this then I'll bottom the gear out on on here uh, and then see put it into one of the old gear boxes to see how it um, mates between the back surface and the gear so that it's sitting correctly if I need to press it in further because if you notice on the original gear it was flush on the new gear uh, new motor that they sent it's a little uh, set back and um, well I'll check it out okay I got this one on just put it till it bottoms out and you could see it's a little proud of that gear so I need to push the gear back so it mates all the way uh, and that way we'll have better contact with that first plastic gear so I'll put it back on the uh, press and then take it back what it looks like to be about an eighth, about an eighth of an inch or so and we'll, we'll be uh, fully engaged Okay, one way to check is to put them head to head like that, make sure they almost touch, which they do, so you know that you press them in about the same. And they'll go into the gearbox about the same. Uh, double check in the gearbox. And it is a little proud, but then the back end of the gear is also in contact. So uh, this is a good fit. 
All right, and there you go. That's uh, both of them done with the 10 tooth gear. And um, we'll put them in and uh, hopefully that'll hold up. Again, these uh, Ching Chin Fang originals, when I bought the vehicle, seem to be a lot more stout than what came with the um, after with the repair kit uh, but I don't know and then these motors are even smaller so they're rated for 24 volt 200 watt and it's all about the coiling inside I, I can't look at that right now but I do know that the ones that came in the kit did not do well um, the shafts are not holding up. The coiling was busted. I had coils coming out of here. Um, just not a happy little motor. Um, we'll see how these do. All right, we'll put those in next and run them. And it took about 10, 15 minutes for the other ones to go bad. So um, it'll be a couple of days worth of running around before I figure this out.